Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> this morning, my internet was down. I don't think for any particular reason. Um, I do have a dish and it's cloudy, but it's just as cloudy now as it was this morning. And uh, my internet works now, so <clears throat> which got me to thinking that, you know, there will be a time that uh, we will not be connected, that the internet will go down, and even the power, there, there may be uh, a day where, for no particular reason, there hasn't, there's not a tornado coming through your town, but your electricity um, is not working, and <clears throat> It is foreseeable. You don't have to be. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. But you have to see it coming if you have some sort of sense to you and you have a sound mind. Um, how do you get people to get more crazy and chaotic? You cut off their power, especially when something like a so-called virus is going around and um, supposedly killing people. So it's like an episode of the Twilight Zone, honestly. <clears throat> um, I was talking to the Lord Jesus Christ last night, telling him that I'm really done with this fictional rated R horror movie that I feel like I'm partaking in. I'm really just done because most everything outside myself is fictional, fake, not real, props and makeup, a giant stage, and most people have no idea that it is a stage, that it's not real, because they don't have his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit leads you into all truth, all truth. And when you, when you know truth and all you want to do is share it, but you know people can't see or hear it because they have a strong delusion upon them. 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 11. And this is all spiritual. And I've quoted Ephesians 6, 12 many times, but I'll read it because there are a lot of people who don't even open up their Bibles. Truth. They'd rather get their information from people's videos and um, through their pastor or their minister or through others, secondhand information about the Lord Jesus Christ, which is really, if you think about it, foolish. It's very foolish. You don't go through somebody else to build a relationship with someone else. But Ephesians six twelve, <clears throat> For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So whether or not this virus is real or not, I'm about to plant a really good seed and I hope you receive it and think about what I say in this video. Again, this is all spiritual. I just read it. So, whether or not you agree with the narrative of, you know, watching what they say in mainstream, reading articles, what have you, however you get your information from, you don't have to agree with the narrative. You just have to watch and pay attention. You just have to talk about it, think about it, and you are participating in their spell 
You're participating in their witchcraft. Truth. Again, you don't have to agree with it. And you don't have to believe that what they're saying is true. You just have to watch. You just have to watch, pay attention to what they're doing, and talk about it and think about it. That's it. The Bible's very clear and tells you, come out of her. Come away from her, lest you suffer from her plagues. The plague of witchcraft. Those of us who actually have his Holy Spirit, I think just get it. Just understand it because we know all truth. And the thing is, participating in it is just watching it and talking about it. Again, let me be clear, you do not have to agree with what they're saying or doing. You are giving your energy, your oil to the enemy, truth. That's what you're doing. That's why I've, I've warned people about going after certain people on YouTube. Because, again, you don't have to agree what they're doing. You just have to think about them, talk about them, and chase after them. I don't care if you're just like, well, they have so many followers, and once saved, always saved is a false doctrine. You're correct, it is a false doctrine. But by making videos over and over about a particular person, and... Uh, you know, thinking that you're doing the Lord God's will. Um, Satan, again, has ensnared you. You don't have to agree with what they're saying. You just have to watch. You just have to go after your flesh. Truth. Absolute truth. You just have to go after your flesh and feel like you have to have an opinion about this, that, or the other. Truth. Again, this is all spiritual. Manifesting in the physical. Yes, there are numbers that are significant. Colors, names, places. It's one big, giant witchcraft spell. Sorcery. And if you don't come away from it, you are going to be ensnared if you're not already ensnared by paying attention to it. Let me give you a small example. All the news had to say in YouTube and articles and whatever, your neighbor, your mother, your whoever, all they had to say is the stores are running out of toilet paper. People are buying up the toilet paper. That was a spell. If you can't see that, then you're spiritually blind. So they placed that in people's minds. And what did they go do? They went and overbought toilet paper. And now there's no toilet paper. They could have said the same thing. They could have said, everybody's buying bread. There's no bread. And the same thing would have happened. Truth. It's a spell. Now is not the time to be a foolish virgin. Again, you don't have to agree with the narrative and you could be speaking up against it and making video after video after video saying that you disagree with it you know, and just talk about it. That's all you have to do is just talk about it. That's it. You're giving your time and energy to it and you're making the enemy stronger. Rather than knowing, recognizing what it is and walking away 
Don't participate in the witchcraft. Don't participate in the spell. I already told my ex-husband who is not born again. He doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ at all. I told him when we're hanging out, which because we have a son together, I go over to their house. I was like, I don't want to hear about this virus. He still says a few things here and there, but I said to him, I don't, I don't want to discuss it anymore because I see what it's doing to him. It's eating him alive because he, that's all he can focus on because it's a spell. And the, the reason why that's all he can focus on is because there's ads in your insurance, um, on the website, your car insurance, your house insurance, your, your banks are talking about it. You can't look anywhere without seeing something about this virus because it's a spell. The more they put it in front of your face, the stronger the spell is. And to see someone that I love and care about very much being devoured by Satan, Satan walks around and devours whomever he can. I'm seeing people being devoured by this. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not easy. So you need to step up to the plate by turning it off, making sure you have his Holy Spirit and you're born again. Actually read this for yourself. And come out of her. Come away from her. I love you. Take this seed seriously. Because if you don't, you are going to be devoured and succumb to. The virus doesn't need to be real. You just need to think it's real. You can think yourself sick. Yes. You, all they have to do is tell you these are the symptoms and you're like, oh man, I think I have it. I need to go get tested. No, what you have is you're under a spell. You need to trust the Lord Jesus Christ only. And you need to humble yourself and not think that you've got this because you don't. You don't have this. Only the Lord Jesus Christ can keep you safe and keep you out of harm. Don't lean on your own understanding and think you're clever enough that you can, you, you can, you know, oh, they, they don't have me. Well, if you're talking about it, they do have you. Truth. Again, I love you. So step away, stop listening, stop talking about it, especially if you're claiming that you follow the Lord Jesus Christ only. Don't be part of the beast. Love you. God bless.